Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to explore how we can use Apps Script and Google Sheets to automate the creation of events in your Google Calendar. So first we'll start off with a basic example and then we'll move on to setting up a spreadsheet so you can read the data from that sheet and use that data to create events in your calendar. So this is going to be super useful if you're creating events, appointments or any other data you want to populate into Google Calendar from your spreadsheet. First, let's look at a simple function that adds a single event into your calendar. Let's look at the code. Let's start by deleting this code and defining a new function. And we're going to call this function add calendar events. And then within here, I'm going to define a new variable called calendar. And for this variable, we're going to use the calendar app, which is a built-in service uh, within AppScript that allows us to interact with Google Calendar. And initially, we're going to use Calendar app to get our default calendar for this account. And this will fetch our primary calendar, the main one associated with our Google account. Alternatively, you can specify a different calendar here if you know its ID. Okay, next, I'm going to define a few variables here, and these are going to be the details of our event we're gonna create using Google Calendar. So I'm just going to copy and paste these into here to save some time. So within here, we've got a variable defining our event title. We've got a description. And of course, we've got a start time and end time for our event. Okay, now I'm going to define another variable. This one is going to be called event options. And this is going to be an object. We're going to store some extra options uh, when we're configuring our event. And the first one of those is our event description. And for this, I'm going to put in the event description variable we've set up earlier and populate that here. Then I'm gonna add a new line and this one is going to contain guests, other people we're going to invite to our event. So let's add one here now. And this can be a comma separated list. So you can add multiple people here and then let's add another line. This time I'm going to add invites, and that's going to be equal to true to make sure that all of our participants in this event are going to receive an invite. Okay, now for the magic line, which is actually going to create the event for us. So I'm going to create another new variable called event this time. So first of all, we're going to use the calendar variable to get our primary calendar, which we set up earlier. And then we are going to call the create event method and then let's use an open bracket and then we get this helpful pop-up within app script which lets us know what parameters we can supply to this method so we're going to reuse all those variables we defined earlier so let's start with supplying the event title and then followed by the start time end time and lastly our event options and then just to make sure it's successful, I'm going to log to the console the ID of the event that gets created. So let's add some text here, created event with ID, and then let's add our ID by typing in our event variable, and then we're gonna use get ID to get the ID of that event which has just been created. Oh, and I just missed off a comma, so let's add that in there as well. Nice. Okay, let's save this now. And now let's try running our add calendar event script. So let's press run. Okay, so it's the first time running this script, so we need to review and accept these permissions. Perfect, the script has run and successfully created a calendar event for me. So that's a basic way to add an event using app script. But what if you have many events you want to add? Manually writing code for each one isn't very efficient. That's where putting data from a Google Sheet comes in. Now let's look at a much more powerful script that takes the data in your sheet and turns that into events in your calendar. So as you can see, I've already started populating my Google Sheet here with some data about the events that I want to create. Starting with the first column, we've got a column for title. We've got event descriptions stored here our event start times and end times, and then the attendees of these events. 
as you can see, the last two columns are empty. So the status column is where we're going to store the status of that event being created. So if it's successful or fails, we'll store that in here. And then event ID, we will get the event ID back from Google Calendar to store into here, which could be useful if we want to make further updates to those events in the future. So now let's go to extensions and app script. And we'll take a closer look at this script. Firstly, just to mention, this Google Sheet and script is linked in the video description below. So feel free to make a copy of this and use it for your own purposes. Okay, so let's scroll down. First of all, we've got a function here called onopen. And this is just adding our menu options so we can easily run our create events from sheet function below via the Google Sheet. Next, we have the create events from sheet function. So this is the main function that does the work. First of all, it gets the active spreadsheet and tries to open a sheet named calendar events data. And then afterwards, it gets all the data from the sheet. It puts the first row, so the headers in the head variable, and then all of the rest of the data gets added to the data variable using spread syntax. And if you want to learn about the best way of getting data from Google Sheets using App Script, then be sure to check out my video, which will be popping up now, titled The Best Way to Get Data from Google Sheets. So then further down here, we're using the header row to get the column indices for the event title, event description, the start time, end time, attendees, and so on. The advantage of doing it this way is it means the order of the columns in the sheet doesn't strictly matter as long as the headers are correct, then the script will work. And then further down here, we're taking the data variable and we're going to loop through this using the for each method. So for each row, it extracts the event details. And those details, very similar to before, are added to these variables for title, description, start time, and so on. And then down here, crucially, we check to see if an event ID already exists in that row. If it does, the script skips that row, preventing duplicate event creation. And if there's no event ID, then it's going to go and create a new event in your default calendar using the data from that row. And you'll recognize that line from before, which we've got listed here. So again, we're using the create event method and are providing it these parameters, which this time are coming from our Google Sheets. The only difference is this time we've wrapped it in a try catch block. So what this means is it's going to try and create this event. If it does encounter any errors, then it's going to go into the catch block and log the errors to the console for us, and also write back that error to the status column as well for us. And then after attempting to create the event, We've got a code block down here, which will write the status back to the sheet and the corresponding event ID as well. And the advantage of doing it this way is the script not only creates the events for us, but also helps track which events have already been created and added to your calendar. All right, so let's see this in action now. So I've got my Google Sheets here, named calendar events data. All of my headers and data is set up. And remember, my status and event ID fields are currently empty. Now to run the script, I can go to my calendar actions menu option, and I can then click on create calendar events. The script will then run. You might be asked to authorize this if it's the first time you've used it. And there you have it, the script has gone through each row. So I've got a pop-up here confirming that it has completed. And now the sheet has updated to let me know that all of these events have been created, and I've also got a record of the event IDs. And this could come in useful in the future if I ever want to update or delete these events using App Script. Okay, now let's jump into Google Calendar and check out the events which have been created. So I can see several here for this week. So let's click on one of these. We can see it's added our event title. It's added the description for us as well. And it's also added our guests, our attendee. Okay, let's just check another one. Let's go to next week. Let's have a look at this one. And again, we can see it's pulled in the title, our guest and the description again, saving us a huge amount of time. 
So that's it, that's how you can turn data in your sheet into events in your calendar. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.